Hello subscribers and YouTube watchers, what's up? From SlideNerd, I am Weaves over here. In this video, I am going to talk about the difference between a normal activity and a list activity for implementing a list view in Android. Now if you guys are beginners, you probably seen this list activity somewhere and you always scratched your head as to why I should use this list activity. So in this video, let us actually see what it is, which is the better approach and what you can do with it. So what is a list activity? It is a specialized version of an activity that by default associates itself with a list view in XML that you guys can easily find. Now what do I mean by that? Well, very simple. By default, what happened? Think about it. You always used to implement an activity. You had a list view inside XML. You used to link with it. Then you used to have a listener that can respond to the events when the list is clicked. Here, a lot of things are simplified for you. That is all the difference. Now again, you probably wonder which method should I use? Should I use this? Should I use that? Now I will show you a comparison between this and the normal activity and you guys will understand exactly what is the difference between both of them. So remember, as just like any other list view that you see, Again, the same thing, display data from an array or a database. It must contain a list view with this ID in XML. Now, this is very important because when you say that you're implementing a list activity, it tries to associate an object of list view from XML whose ID equals to this. Now, you can use either the list view or you can use a list activity. Remember, the choice is completely yours. In fact, I would actually suggest not using a list activity because this is not good for reusability. You cannot extend this class to support your own functionality in the future. And fourth, the best part about the list activity is you don't have to define any event listeners. It simplifies a lot of work for you. So let's exactly see what is the difference between a normal activity and a list activity. So here you have normal on the left and you have list activity on the right. Let's see the steps. Step one, define the data source. It is the same step in both the places. Step two, here you implement the normal activity and here on the right side, you implement the list activity. Step three, now inside your onCreate method, imagine how you would find the list view. Usually you would say find view by ID from the XML, you will link it, right? But take a look here on the right side. You will simply say list view L equals to get list view. Now this is the part which is tricky. Now if you guys remember, I told you that the list activity associates itself with a list view whose id is at, at the rate android slash id slash list, right? And that list view is returned to you over here in Java code when you say get list view. And that is the reason why you have to give the id exactly like the way I said. And then changes in event handling. Normally what you would do, you would go ahead, implement the on item click listener, right? Here, take a look. No need for doing any of that. Use the on list item click method. Here you can directly refer to the same four parameters. That is the list view, the view which shows which row was clicked and so on. So let's go ahead and actually see what are the detailed steps for each of these steps. Step one, define the list activity. Step two, get a reference to the list view in code. Assign at the rate android slash id slash list as the id value inside your xml for your list view because this is the way your list activity is gonna find this list view and give it back to java code when someone calls get list view method and then step three override the on list item click method so in this video i've explained you guys how the list activity works in the next next video let me go to android studio and make a simple example to show you guys how the list activity works so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.